was one of the first people in the whole world to try the brand new Apple Vision Pro and I'm here to tell you my honest review. First is the setup. They actually brought me to get my eyes checked and get the headset personally customized for me. It was super quick and easy. If you've ever had AirPods or set up Face ID, you know how quick this process is. As soon as I got in the room, I was impressed with the design and quality. It looked super futuristic and was really easy to slide on my head. It has a little adjuster on the top as well that you can tighten so that it fits comfortably on your head. Once it was on, I did a really quick setup where there was dots all around the room and I just had to look at them with my eyes to get everything set up. You actually select things by looking doing this with your finger and dragging your finger like that as well. What I noticed right away was I could look at something very specific and it knew exactly what I was trying to select. And I could have my hand in my lap comfortably doing the pinching motion and this motion as well. And it recognized my gestures seamlessly. If you have any Apple devices, you're already used to the layout and the apps and the gestures just come second nature. The first thing I got to try out were the Photos and Videos app. This is going to be a completely new way of experiencing and reliving memories. I was honestly mind blown looking at the photos and videos. You could honestly just easily move it anywhere you want and resize it so easy. The room actually dims when you're looking at photos and videos which really enhance the experience. We saw that they showed panorama photos in the keynote where it wraps all around the person so I was really excited to try that and I was quite honestly shocked. It really feels like you're standing where that photo was taken and it looks really nice because you can see the world around you but also see the photo so bright and crystal clear. Apple introduced the new spatial photos and videos and honestly not gonna lie, this brought a tear to my eye. I actually got to see the family blowing out the birthday cake and then also friends sitting by a fire and this felt like I was really there in the moment with them. I was just thinking the whole time that I wish I had these sort of moments captured with my friends and family and I'm definitely gonna be doing that when this finally launches. I know they show this in the keynote but you can't really understand how amazing it looks until you have it on and experience it for yourself. I cannot wait to capture and relive my favorite memories and know that I'm able to put on the Vision Pro, lay in bed or just hang out and relive that and feel like you're there in the moment. Next I got to try out multitasking so I set up the apps I wanted around the room. I had my photos app here, the messages over here and Safari there. It was super easy to just grab and move your apps around the room where you wanted them. I actually had the messages like up on the wall and there's a person in the room there with me in real life. The messages were shown behind them. So it was really cool because I could have a genuine conversation with someone but also have my apps I want displayed around the room as well. It's crazy how normal it felt within a few minutes. It felt like second nature to me. Resizing things and moving apps around the room was super easy. I felt like you really could do a lot of work with the Vision Pro on. I mean, with all my apps scattered around the room, I could still see my hands perfectly and say I was writing notes on an iPad or doing something else. It felt totally normal and you kind of forgot that you had them on. It's also really easy to close the app. So there's a little X in the left corner. You just look at it and tap your fingers like that and it's gone. The next thing I got to experience was environments where you're fully immersed into a new place. I was fully immersed in Mount Hood and it's crazy because you honestly feel like you're there even though you know you're not. You kind of let your body feel like, you know what, I'm transporting to this new place and you enjoy it. You can actually use the digital crown on the top right side of your head to adjust the transparency. And also if someone walks in the room, they can actually break through and you'll be able to see them and they're able to see your eyes. You truly do feel like you're in that space with the birds chirping around you, the spatial audio, you kind of hear them coming from one side and you hear the water flowing. It's absolutely incredible. The whole time I was thinking, I would love to just turn this on sit here and meditate, have some deep thoughts, and then come back to the real world. The next thing I got to try out was mindfulness and I got to do a one minute meditation. Similar to the Apple Watch's breathe feature, you're able to have a beautiful one minute meditation where you kind of saw like leaves going around you and it was very, very peaceful. I kept thinking about how much I wish I had this in university for all those stressful moments during exams and I wish I could just put it on and relax for that minute. 
This is also going to be amazing for before bedtime. I would love to have this on as I'm doing my nightly prayer or meditating and really put my mind at ease and really truly relax. I only got to do a minute of the meditation and I have such amazing things to say. I know that this would positively impact everyone's day-to-day -day life if they just had a minute where they could escape to go somewhere else. I'm so excited to see what developers do to take this to the next level for all of us to experience and enjoy. The next thing I tried out was the FaceTime feature. So basically everyone creates a persona and it's not like an emoji or an avatar, it's actually your face and it moves when your mouth moves and eye moves because the headset actually has cameras all around it to see your gestures and movements. The person I was FaceTiming looked super real because it's a picture of his face, but you could also feel like it was a little augmented as well. I did like, however, that you could put your hands inside and make gestures and it notices that and brings that into frame as well. What I thought was amazing was during this FaceTime call, we actually collaborated on the app called Freeform. It was really easy to collaborate and move things around on the project. And I even got to see a 3D model, which you probably saw in the keynote, but it's even more amazing when you see it for yourself. This is gonna change the game for working remotely and collaborating on projects with people all around the world. There was no lag and it was so easy to resize things and just talk and chat through what we're doing on the project together. After the FaceTime, I actually got to watch some of Avatar 2 in 3D. I've already watched this movie in real life in 3D, but this is a whole new experience. I watched it in cinema mode where it feels and looks like you're in a movie theater. Like I kept having to tell myself I'm sitting on a couch at Apple Park. I'm not actually at a movie theater, how real it felt. This is so exciting for filmmakers and it's gonna change the way they create movies. I'm really excited about the partnership with Disney Plus as well. In the keynote, they show that Mickey can be in your house. You can watch movies on day one on Disney+. Plus. They also teased about having Disney at your fingertips and being able to kind of have that experience. And also immersive experience with Marvel. I thought that was so cool. I also want to note that at this point, I've had the headset on for probably like 30 minutes and it did not bother me at all. It didn't feel heavy. It wasn't hurting my head and it was truly really comfortable. I also got to experience Apple immersive video. This truly brought me around the world. I was underwater with sharks. I was looking at air balloons in Cappadocia, Turkey. I was standing at the side of a cliff with someone. Everything from the quality of the footage, the spatial audio, and just the whole experience felt absolutely insane. It was truly bringing me to places I've never been to, but now I feel like I was there. And also reliving places I've been to in the past. As soon as we dove deep underwater, I really felt like I was scuba diving like I did back in Australia. I know for a fact when I get my hands on this, I'm gonna wanna go all around the world and experience different places I've only seen in regular photographs. Every different thing I got to see and experience with the Vision Pro kept getting better and better. I didn't wanna take them off how good it was. The last thing I got to do was see dinosaurs. So basically the wall opens up and you have this beautiful, beautiful scenery with dinosaurs and they actually come popping out of the wall. So I actually stood up and walked over and looked at it super close up. I knew it was fake obviously, but it felt so real in the moment. It was incredible. I also put my finger like this and a butterfly came and flew onto it and I got to see it from close up. I don't know what tricks my mind were playing on me, but I honestly felt like it actually landed on my finger. And then when it flew away, it was so graceful and beautiful. I would totally use this on an airplane to escape and relax. And I'm also excited to try out gaming on this when it comes out as well. I understand the sticker shock of 3500 USD for the Vision Pro. Of course, it's an investment, but with the design, quality, and experience, and all the beautiful memories you can relive, it honestly feels worth it to me, and I just tried it for less than an hour. Of course, watching a movie, playing games, collaborating, all those things are amazing, but what I loved the most was how it truly felt like I was there in the moment with the people, blowing out the birthday candles and scrolling through the photos and looking at the panorama photo of a memory or a place I once visited. I feel like that was so impactful to me and really made me feel like emotionally connected and wanting to actually shoot videos and photos with the Vision Pros so that I have those memories forever. 
The last thing I want to mention is whenever I've used VR headsets in the past, I've always felt extremely like nauseous and dizzy and kind of unwell. But this whole time, I felt great. Even walking out of it, I felt amazing. There wasn't a moment where I felt dizzy, nauseous, or kind of uneasy. It felt so natural and really, really good. This is truly a groundbreaking and remarkable experience and I'm so grateful that I was able to be there at WWDC and try it out myself and share my experience with you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for all your support, watching this video and subscribing to me. It means so much. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you soon.